We give you thanks, we give you praise, we give you all glory and all honor for the wonderful works, Lord, that you have done and continue to do in us. We thank you for Christ Jesus. Who is our light? Light our path and guides us. We receive light and illumination. And if there be darkness, Lord, all around us, your light so shine. That will not walk in the dark. Your light so shines, Father. That will not walk in the dark. Let there be illumination. That will not have darkened understanding and darkened counsel. Let there be understanding to know God thinks the things we ought to know. <coughs> the things we ought to know. Your word says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. Lord, may, may not perish. May not perish. Because your word says that you give liberally wisdom to everyone who needs it. Give us wisdom, Lord. Give us wisdom. Give us wisdom. May we know God be self conceited. <laughs> May we not be self conceited, <clears throat> nor rely on our flesh. grant unto each and every one of us wisdom that will know the end from the beginning and the humility of humility of heart Lord to pursue what we know yes Lord thank you Thank you for indeed, Lord, this is a day that you have made. This is a day that you have made. If you made it, you are in control of it. You are in control of it. May none, Lord, fall in the trap of the enemy. May none be overtaken by the enemy. May none be overtaken. Guide our steps away from the trap of the wicked one. He is a wicked one because he seeks nothing but our destruction. He seeks nothing but our pain. He seeks nothing but our failure. He seeks nothing but our shame and reproach. He is wicked. May with none of us, Father, lose sight of that, that He is wicked. He seeks not our good. Therefore, every plan of His for everyone or any one of your children this morning, Father, may we escape it. May we escape it. May your people escape it. 
your people, O oh God, escape it. We receive help to escape the devices of the wicked. We receive help to escape the devices of the wicked. May we escape, Lord. Father, we, 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 we see the example of Samson, a judge of Israel, a judge of Israel, with strength not common to humans, but the wicked, <coughs> the wicked one, he made a public spectacle of him. My Father, this morning, may each one of us escape. May each one of us escape. May we escape every scheme and every device of the wicked one. May we escape Lord, my brother out there, my sister out there, may they escape the plots of the wicked one, the schemes of the wicked one, the devices of the wicked one. May we escape, Lord. May we escape. May none fall into the schemes and plans of the wicked one. Paul says we are ignorant of it. But Lord, we can't say that. For most of us are ignorant. But you have given us the mind of Christ. Therefore, we activate the mind of Christ in us. That sees and knows and understands and, and walks in your precepts. We activate that mind to escape. May we escape. We give you praise this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to share something briefly with us this morning. Hebrews chapter 3. Hebrews chapter 3. One. I'm actually interested in between 6 and 14. But let's, <coughs> let's read from verse 1. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus, who was faithful to him that appointed him, as also Moses was faithful in all his house. 
For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he who have built the house have more honor than the house. For every house is built by some man, but he that built all things is God. <coughs> and Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. But Christ as a son over his own house, whose house are we? If we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost said, today if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation and the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works forty years, Wherefore I was grieved with that generation, and said, They do always err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. So I saw in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. But exalt one another daily while it is called today. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ, if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. Scripture is a, <clears throat> a very interesting one <clears throat> in in the sense that in the sense that in a sense that it it draws. <clears throat> I don't know, I'm just very <coughs> overcome with emotion this morning. <coughs> but I'm fine. I'm overcome with emotion because I <coughs> I'm thinking about it also relates to what I intend share. I'm I'm thinking about the wickedness of the devil and and how how sometimes we don't see it a man walks in a an innocent normal path thinks no ill of anyone Plans no ill for none. Just like to just rejoice and serve his or her God. And Satan could just scheme. To ruin a life like that. To put the most severe and unimaginable things in that path. (laughs) 
It just breaks my heart. It just breaks my heart. Today, I pray that the Lord will open our understanding, beloved, for us not to just walk ignorantly. And I pray also that the, when the Holy Spirit is out there to help us from the scheme and the devices of the devil, we won't be foolish to reject it, but to embrace. May every plan and scheme, beloved, I want us to pray. Let's pray. May every plan and scheme and every device that has been set in motion. May every plan and scheme or device set in motion to take any soul or to capture anyone or to cut your feet in it and to bring you to ruin. May you escape in the name of the Lord Jesus. You want to receive power and grace this morning to escape, to escape the devices of the wicked one, to escape the, the imaginations of wickedness, the wicked men and wicked wicked activity, wickedness that's been set out, nets that have been spread out for your feet. In the name of the Lord Jesus, wickedness, wickedness in high places, may you escape in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Kenimaranto Sendiakali, in Nimaro Kobadi, Ranise Tecola, Briponga, Tinira Sito, Shema Reproach, Manioso de Bradino Closo, Nia Karate, Shema Reproach. May you escape it. May you escape it. May you live. May you escape it. May angels intervene on your behalf. May angels intervene on our behalf. May we escape it. May the power of the Holy Spirit be made manifest in our lives and bring us to that place that will be preserved. 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 Receive preservation, beloved. Receive preservation, beloved. Receive preservation, beloved. May the arrow of the wicked one may not find a target in you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may you not find a target. In the name of the Lord Jesus, if it be sickness, if it be disease, if it be schemes of the enemy, may you not find a target in you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may you not find a target in you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may you not find a target in you. May your faith not be overthrown. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may your Christian testimony not be ruined. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Manura Sondia. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Try this again. Okay, so the writer of Hebrews <coughs> is is bringing forth some very conditional thing, um, and he starts first by talking about. Moses that has been called, and we all know about Moses, the fact that he was called and given an assignment and brought it all the way to where his eyes could see Canaan and all that. And the, and the scripture says that he, <coughs> he was faithful in doing that which God had uh, committed to him. It means that when a task is given... Um, it is like you are a lord over your house. You, you have jurisdiction and control over it. 
and you have a mandate to fulfill, you carry it through. And each one of us come to the place where we are born of God. The scripture says we also have become a house unto the Lord himself. And, and the Lord also is faithful in all his house and superintend over it and brings it to a perfect end. And the scripture says that the Lord in doing so is more faithful and have more glory than Moses because he is overall and 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 goes on. Then <coughs> then he says that whose house we are, if that's the word, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. If so we only come to the place of being really who He's called us to be if we hold fast the confidence of and the rejoicing <coughs> of the hope firm unto the end. What I want to share with us is confidence. Unfortunately, we have confidence moderating us. Um, but God giving me grace, if I I have a release, I probably will share more on it tomorrow, God willing. But I want you to ponder over, over this. Now, a Christian who is born of God or Christian walk is a progression. It's a progression in the sense that you move from a birth or new birth in Christ and desiring the sincere milk of the word and maturing in him. And Paul will say that you ought to eat strong meat and you go on and on and your nature being refined, you putting off the nature of sin and your nature being refined, heading down onto such a time when, when he shall appear, will be like him. So it's a journey. It's a progression. But it must begin. And it must begin by coming to a place where you genuinely and sincerely are born of God. And you can't grow when you haven't been born. Now, so when you are born and you come to that place where you know, there are people who are in the house of God, who are born of God. They are just familiar with the things of God because they have not reached a certain point in their lives by themselves where they've decided and say, from now on, I yield my life over. So you have to have a reference point, a beginning. And when you do have a beginning, then there is that journey. The other thing which is also important in the Christian walk is this, which is probably what, I mean, caused me to be so overcome by emotion this morning, is that there is a devil who does everything possible to hinder that progression or that forward move. There is a devil. He does everything determined to see to it that you don't arrive at the place you ought to be. So the, the progression becomes tough and difficult. And he will throw everything possible. He's not doing it for fun. He's doing it with every intent and every determination. Making sure that you don't become what you should be. Now, the other thing also is this. As we advance in that journey that the devil is putting obstacles and everything possible in our way, we ought to have faith and steadfast courage. The apostle calls it confidence. The Apostle or the Holy Spirit refers to it as confidence. We ought to have that steadfast courage and hold on to it, knowing very well that we would arrive at the end. Come what may. Now the scripture is telling us that we ought to, if we, we must hold on to that, and whilst we are holding on to it, we ought to be rejoicing of that hope firm unto the end. 
So look at it this way. You are on a journey heading to somewhere. Out of nowhere, things are throwing dust all around. And you can't even see your way. Chances are that you will be discouraged to want to go forward. And you will just retreat. Or you will sit down. If you sit down, you are hoping the dust will settle. The dust doesn't settle. Chances are that you will retreat, you go back. You failed. Now, if you prod on, all of a sudden, some people come from the left and the right and they come and they will probably even be going in that direction and will tell you that, oh, you're going for it, say, yeah. And then they tell you that we are also going for it. Then along the way, they throw a party or they do this, they do that, they do this, they do this to distract you and all that. If you ask Nehemiah, he will tell you that he experienced those sides of people and, and, and determined to hinder you from getting there. Or that people just come out from nowhere with swords and, and all manner of things to chase and wanting to kill not for fun, but genuinely and sincerely they want to kill. Now, the scripture says that on that journey, you and I ought to provide it. You see, that's, that's why it's a bit uh, to me. He said, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. So, it doesn't matter what it is that throws up. God's way for, to, for him to get us there is that hold on to it that this journey I have begun. I would arrive there, raise a song, pick a dance, and keep at it. And today I want to tell someone, raise a song, pick a dance, keep moving, and move on. You go past whatever state you find yourself today. You go past it. You go past it. Pick a song. Pick a promise. Stir yourself up. Take a dance. Move on. What looks like an unpassable road would clear. It may look as if you can't stand today, but beloved, you will stand. Pick a song. You will stand. You will stand. And may someone stand. May someone stand. Father, thank you. That your people will stand through the day. We will hold fast our confidence. What we have believed. What we have committed to. We will hold fast to it. We won't quit. We are not of them that draw back unto perdition. But we are of them that believe unto the saving of the soul. A thousand will fall on our left. And ten thousand on our right. That's your assurance to us. That's your assurance to us. We would escape the reproach and the shame. I would arrive, Lord. We will go past it. We give you praise. In Jesus' name. The Lord bless you, beloved, and keep you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and cause his grace to overtake you and his 
peace carries in your mind and heart throughout the day. Fulfill your call. Serve your generation. Fight to the end. Don't quit. Amen. God bless you, beloved. God willing, tomorrow.